of Wabash Cannonball. Hope you enjoy this. Keeping in mind this is not the only way that the song can go on the banjo. There's all sorts of different ways you can play it. This is just one more. So hope you hope you uh, get something out of this. Um, I'm gonna start with a little uh, four, kind of four to verse three, two, one, three, four. Start with a slide on the third string. Going from two to three. Going back to the third, open the third string with my index finger. And second fret on the fourth string with my thumb. And middle on one. So three, two, one, three, four. Don't try to double thumb. Because uh, it'll slow you down. Okay. So here is my first lick is a four pinch three two five one i haven't fretted anything yet so i'm just open strings on that whole first measure now i'm going to slide from two to four this time three two one five one five one notice the one there is a quarter note three two one five quarter note Then a Cripple Creek slide, three, two, five, one. And this is my uh, fireball mail pull-off. First fireball mail pull-off, it does two of them. I'm doing pull-off on the third string, three to two. Hitting the second string, then the open third string. So I do a slide, pull-off. I do a C chord, four to verse. Uh, this is just, just like Foggy Mountain Breakdown, except it's a C instead of an E minor. I'm sorry, I leave, I leave in the first string open. Two fingers on. Hammer into the first note. Four, two, one, five, one, two, four, one. And then I go to a D chord. this case, I'm putting three fingers on uh, Third finger is going to the fourth fret of the fourth string. Uh, second finger is on the second string, third fret. And my first finger is going to be on the third string on the second fret. So I'm counting my frets are four, uh, two, three. Four, two, three. And third finger, first finger, second finger. And I hit my open fourth string first and then put three now you may need to work just this chord a bunch of times to get where you can put all three of those fingers on hopefully you can get them all three on the same at the same time and play it clear okay that's the way i'm treating that open four and then put my chord on. Four, three, four, two, one, five, three, one. So four, four, two, one, five, three, one. Okay. Next uh, measure, I'm just move. I'm moving this finger from the fourth string to the third string for those two notes. That's fourth fret, second fret, both on the third string. And five, one, open third. Now, I'm doing another D chord here, because my D chord lasts a uh, measure longer than a lot of songs do. Four, three, one, five, one. Four, three, one, five, third string, fourth string. Here, I'm using the, just these two fingers. I'm leaving this one off because I'm not playing that string. I'm doing four, three, one, five, then open, and then fret back here on the second fret on the fourth string. 
Now I'm doing a variation on a G run here, starting on the fourth string. Because that's where the melody goes. It goes to the um, Green Fuller Mountain South, whatever it says, Southville by the shore, shore. And it's just filling in the rest of that G chord. Okay, now this time I'm going to go my fourth string. Instead of doing a pinch, I'm going to slide from two to five on the fourth string. And uh, same slide as I did before on two to four on the third string. So both those measures, I'm four, four, three, one, five, three, one, three, two, one, five, one. Then I'm going to do my four reverse lick here, but it starts, it's kind of different. It starts in a different place. I'm counting four and four and one and two and three and four and with a pull off at the end there. That'll make more sense when you start to put it all together. Here comes my favorite C lick. I've done that a bunch. Hammering on the fourth string, pulling off of the third string, two to zero. <clears throat> and then four, one, one, hammer. Now, I'm going to stick this little ending in here just because I think it needs, needs, you know, just to make it a little bit different. Um, kind of a melodic slash chromatic kind of bluesy thing. So, in this case, my index finger is going to the first string, third fret. My third finger is going to the fifth fret of the second string. I'm saying middle index, but sometimes I'll drop my thumb down there because I'm more used to that. And then I take that finger off, move this finger over. So all together goes da 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 da. case this note is higher than that note. The third string is actually a higher note than the second string. Is this a C? That's a B. Okay, so that's that's it. Starting at the tail end of the previous measure. One, three, two, one. That fret in the third string on the fifth fret. Okay, and then do my pull off again. Fourth fret on the fourth string, that F sharp. That's a quick D there. And then uh, my Earl Scruggs G run, may he rest in peace. And three pinch. That takes me through uh, the verse, and the verse and the chorus are the same, same tune. So, and I'm on the fourth string, second fret. Four string, third fret. I'm back to the double lines at the top of the page. Four, pitch, three, two, five. Side, pull off, C lick. D. Bye. Uh -huh. 
Again from the top. Four string. Open. of this, but uh, hopefully it'll sort of expand your horizon somewhat. 